For the hood on this project, I started my fuzzy yarn here in this first stitch and then uh, crocheted into every stitch on the edge all the way around. And then when I got to this edge, I turned around and started picking up the inside stitch here. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So this is just the first the first round of the furry yarn here. And now what I'm doing is I'm going through the V's right on the inside here of the hood. So, and then just single crocheting is what I'm doing there. And then it gives you a this is going to help keep the, the hood edge from rolling and then it also gives you a nice fluffy edge. And so, again, pretty sure I was using a smaller hook the other day because I can't get this one through the, the edges of the stitches very well, but you get the idea. Uh, and then once I get to the edge down here. I am going to start working back the other direction one more time because um, working these two rows gives you a bit of a, um, in some areas, not all of them, you can see the edge here. So I'm gonna do one more row so I'm to the end here, and so I'm just gonna chain one and turn again. And then I think I am gonna switch to a smaller hook for this row. And then I'll just pull loosely, because that way I can wedge it into the stitches easier. And really there's no scientific method to this. I'm basically just jamming my hook in anywhere it will fit and uh, making a, sh a single crochet. Not very scientific, I know, but we're really going more for looks here than since neatness really doesn't matter at all uh, when you're working with fuzzy yarn. There we go. Found another place to put it. All right. And pull through. And you'll just repeat this. I'm clearly going to be super pokey at this, but you, you, uh, you get the idea. I'll show you a few more stitches so you can see kind of how it will look and then uh, you just repeat this and then you'll tie off when you get to the other edge. So the edge of the hood then will look like that. Nice and fluffy furry.